guys, let's be honest. Young Unahana, would you risk it? <laughs> would you risk it? <laughs> if you want to see some action. Blaze! <laughs> well, going everyone, Sanji Uche here. And of course, we're back in terms of reacting to and reviewing Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War. Yo, Managalai, before getting into it, Melfa said this, like, I find it absolutely funny that the Soul Society is like, yo, Ichigo, yo, we're getting our asses kicked. Need some help, fam. And it's like, eh, the expectation is like, ah, Ichigo is probably just gonna come and beat everybody. But who knows, maybe I could be wrong. I'm just saying, maybe you could just make some wild speech and like, oh, I'm gonna beat you, 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 you. <laughs> yo, as a manga reader, I'm not gonna lie, like, tactically, since they can't take his Bankai, it makes sense to bring him in, but it's like, do you expect him to beat everybody? Because everybody else is pretty much losing. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this episode and my reaction and overall thoughts on the episode. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, of course. And let me know your favorite moments from this, you know, this arc so far in the grand scheme of things. Bleach! <laughs> Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Yo! Okay, so this is new. Yo! <laughs> Alright, so this is interesting because, you know, Kubo dropped, like, these designs, like, what, this week or last week? And manga-wise... Ooh, Unohana! Yo! Bro! Dog. Kubo, yo, Kubo be eating, bro. Kubo be eating. Yo. And this OST. Yo, the original Gote 13, the normal. And there he is, the man. The myth. The legends. Yo, this is awesome because manga wise, we only got like a one panel with these old characters. And the designs weren't really even. Drown out like this. Oh shit! Sasakibe actually being useful. <laughs> shit! Here we go. Here we go, dog. Yo, Manala. It's still odd to me. So Yamamoto just stood there and took that. Like. It's just the way. It's just the way Yamamoto ran up, stood still, and just took the slash. I know, technically speaking, yeah. I was thinking that maybe since Yuan has his bankai, maybe mentally he was saying, "Okay, this doesn't make sense. I've already lost. Let me just accept it." But it was just odd how Kubo framed it to me. I was expecting to get just at least an additional, but even thirty seconds to a minute of like extended. Like extend it right there, that scene, before you are uh, chops him down. Because I always found that odd. And I love how, like, the lighting and the framing, it just really adds to that ear of the spear for this. So yeah, so that's basically the thing. It's kind of like, because of how things were unfolding, especially with Sasakibe, is like, Yamamoto tried to really like, take everything upon himself, essentially. Man just completely wiped the man out, bro. That's it. Small what, you? Small what? <laughs> bro. The Queens is just come back with a vengeance, bro. And the anime is really just doing its justice. Things just look... Like, it was brutal in the manga, but the anime just really sells the brutality of, of it, really. Nah, like... Oh, shit, and they actually show that Basby survived from early. That's new. Here he is. The man. Ichigo! <laughs> Yo. My name's a dog. What a dog? That's called... Pro tag power. <laughs> the Akia no. Yo, shit. Yo, you know, said serious and Biakia like sheds a tear, bro. 
the iconic manga panel adapted. Bro. Dog. The man's spiritual pressure is boiling to the point where the rain just evaporates around the man. Yo. Ah, Here we go! Yo, it's she go! No, bro, bro, dog. This is too clean. This is too beastly. Yo, it's she go has never looked this fierce, dog. Yo, wala, 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 bro. Bro, dog, yo, yeah, dog, this is too sick, dog. Yeah. Yo, loving the new scenes. Yeah. Bro. Gets a guy. Man said no, dog. You see, the truth and reality of the situation is that me have everything in this series, so I <laughs> have every ability. Yeah. <gasps> Could it be? Okay, I I think this is new. Yo, who are really adding his touch with these additional scenes, bro? Oh shit, bro, and the OST. Well, this is entirely new. <laughs> oh, let me guess. This season's version of Ichigo quote unquote losing his powers. Because that's a recurring gag. Hey! Broke your sword! My son born in darkness. Woo! That's a nice transition. Bro. Dog. Yamamoto Genryu Sai. Yo, you just can't keep badass old men alive. Yo, and they incorporated the new designs Kubo put out. It's a good vibe. Guys, let's be honest. Young Unahana, would you risk it? <laughs> would you risk it? Manga readers know. Manga readers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, so yo, that was Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, episode 7. Sun born in darkness or born in the darkness. And yo, I'm not gonna lie, fam. Like, as a manga reader, like the anime is doing is doing the manga it's just doing the source material justice, honestly. Like, you know, you have the cliche stuff where we can talk about every episode in terms of the arts, the animation, and thing. But 
just how it's composed how it's produced how it's put together the atmosphere the tone the music it really helps to sell the brutality that is the thousand year blood war and even though as i said during the reaction that the manga version of these events were bloody and brutal as well the anime really helps to sell it that much more it's much better in terms of like just how should i say the how visceral it is how like it's just the brutality of it. it ju it's just that much more... I don't know how to put it. It's just that much more apparent. Like, it's it was obvious in the manga, but it's much more obvious here. Now, in terms of this episode, I'll say that... Phew, amazing content in terms of, like, just the, the plot and the narrative. Of course, we start off with an amazing flashback. An additional, fresh new scene for the anime. Um... Of the original Gote 13. If you guys don't know, Kubo actually put out a drawing of the original Gote 13 in Shonen Jump magazine, I believe. And I was thinking about it considering that the events of these episodes, the chapter that it's based on, we had a flashback, but it wasn't anything substantial. It was like one panel. So I'm saying the timing of Kubo releasing that, it would only make sense if they include it in this episode where Yamamoto is going to die and we have the flashback and that's what we got and it was nice actually seeing it in action seeing these old members and I'm not gonna lie it makes me feel like it would be nice to get either a Bleach prequel which I'm sure a lot of persons have been you know talking about since release of these those those original Gote 13 designs either that or in the upcoming Hell arc you know see these characters you know from hell like you know since you know manga readers like the person who read the one shot yet last year no so i'll leave it at that so that was good now as i was saying during the reaction as well the whole situation with yamamoto right we see from about episode one up until this point his death that he's been shouldering this rage this anger this sense of regret when it comes down to sasakibe and everything that's happened to a lot of the soul reapers in soul society so what yuha was saying in this episode is 100 percent correct in the sense that yamamoto was genuinely trying to kind of just shoulder everything on his own on a mental level at least and it, it, it really shows and compared to the original Gote 13 in terms of the progression that Yamamoto made in terms of him transitioning from leading this group of bloodthirsty killers to you know reigning in this time of peace we see the consequences of that because Yuha points out that yeah he was a character that would have done anything to win back then Yamamoto would have obviously used Orihime to heal his hand he would have done anything to win and that obviously isn't the case right now so it kind of just makes it feel like Yamamoto's loss here it feels like a natural progression of his whole history from the original Gote 13 till now you know a character who has transitioned with the times from being a bloodthirsty killer to having things that are there to protect and it seems like it's it, like his loss here, even though, you know, having his bankai stolen would have happened either way. <laughs> it feels on a narrative level that his loss was like a natural progression of his development over the years. And I think that's what's, you know, good coming out of this. It didn't feel like, even though it kind of feel like, ah, shit, Yamamoto died. Kind of feel like, maybe like bullshit, maybe. But at the same time, it's like, yeah. It feels like that natural progression, which I, which I love. Of course, we have Ichigo coming in to defeat everybody, which is, I'm, I'm sure, Ichigo wish he could say that himself. But we have Ichigo coming onto the scene and his interaction with Byakuya. Yo, honestly, beautiful. Not gonna lie. When you see Byakuya shedding a tear, you know that it's serious. You know, you have certain characters that operate within a certain, like, they have a certain personality. So when you see them doing something outside of the norm, you know a certain situation in a show is dire and serious. And Byakuya shedding a tear, that's how you know it's serious, honestly. I won't spoil anything for later on, but they really, they really hammered it home that Byakuya died here quote unquote <laughs> but anyway yeah it was honestly amazing and just how it was how the scene was really put together with ichigo they're like oof, 
the rain falling down on him and his spiritual pressure like just just boiling up to the point that you could see that it is done in a, such a subtle yet beautiful way that it just evaporates the rain around him beautiful and even the additional scenes that we got between ichigo and yuha really builds on the manga in such an amazing way honestly yo, the thousand year blood war anime adaptation is just awesome not gonna lie. and of course the revelation that ichigo <laughs> more or less is a quincy i'm sure as a long time bleach viewer most persons would have already kind of suspected this was the case but to get confirmation in this episode i'm sure it changes everything for a lot of persons who are anime only especially so it's like yo mm, where do you go from here and uh, how it's going to <laughs> how is it going to affect things going forward um spoilers though as a manga reader i realized that Again, from a thousand years ago, they decided to keep Yuha's older design, like his present day design, instead of using old man Zangetsu's slightly younger design, which is interesting. But I guess it makes sense since I don't want to spoil that tidbit just yet. So, yeah. <sighs> but anyway, amazing episode. Natural progression when it comes on to how... Yamamoto met his demise essentially more or less I mean plus or minus the fact that he would have still gotten his bankai stolen but on a narrative level on just like a from the perspective of like just character progression and character development from a thousand years ago till now it feels like the Yamamoto met his demise in the like from a natural like, like just natural it didn't seem contrived you know despite the whole you know odd thing of him just standing still at the end there so weird but there's that developments with ichigo definitely awesome right there amazing art animation the additional scenes really help to feel it really makes the manga material feel more whole more full you know so i'm interested again to see what tubo is going to be adding along with the animation staff at you know over there at um Shit, 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 studio period. <laughs> so, yo, amazing episode. Hope you guys enjoyed my, you know, reaction and just my discussion and breakdown for this episode. Amazing. And, yo, that's, that, yo, that, that, that image of Ichigo, fam. Yo, beastly. <laughs> anyway, Sanjay Uchiha, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'll see you in the next Bleach! The Thousand Year Blood War reaction review. Mm-hmm.